The Minnesota Twin Study was a profound study uh, within the work of psychological behavior. The study took place um, over a period of many, many years, and they took identical twins that were separated at birth, and then these identical twins came back many years after their separation, and they found them to be identical psychologically, meaning many of the twins acted the same way. They maybe read books from the back to the front. They screamed on elevators. They named their kids the same names. They had the same type jobs. We have been studying behavior and its relationship to the spine for many, many years. And so what was interesting is when we found that the twins that are, were separated at birth were really similar psychologically. And what we have found in our study is that the spinal column, it, whether it goes left, right, forward, or backward, tells us a lot about the psychological behavior. And we found even in twins that we have studied that in our study the twins were very different. The difference being, in our study, these twins grew up together. So each twin was trying to really create their own separate identity. And so one would be more logical, which would be a left curve. And one would be more emotional, which would be a right curve. One would be more backward, which is more in a state of withdrawal. And one would be more forward, which is more assertive and aggressive. And so it really began to give us more information on what we have theorized for many, many years that a lot of our behavior is present from the moment of conception.